Hello everyone, I'm Nitzel and this is Castlevania for the Amiga. I'm joined today by Tenmiku and Tempest. Oh, hello. So, Hi everyone. I, you just saw me one run earlier, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems that you're kind of a professional of the wrong platform block. <laughs> I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that. Uh, well... Basically, uh, four years after original Castlevania for NES was released, there were ports for personal computers, and they are all colloquially known as Dosylvania yeah, ports. And, and, and this is Amiga, and it's considered the worst of them all. Well, at least that's what I think. I don't know if it's actually considered the worst, but I think it's the worst one that I've played uh, so far. Uh, so right away, you can see the Castlevania, uh, well, you can see Castlevania and it's a bit underwhelming, but the music is cool, so <laughs> at least that's a good yes, thing. Right it added a, a pretty yep. cool new track. All right, let's get this going. In three, well, I'll just leave the intro so that you can compare to the NES version. So yeah, definitely not as cool, but here we go. So, Castlevania for Amiga. Those games are pretty interesting. All the versions have their own weird jank and weird mechanics. Yeah. Very, very weird ghouls. Yeah, right away you can see that the art is uh, a choice, I would say. <laughs> Basically, every enemy in this game was redesigned in some, in some weird way. So far, this, those are pretty tame, but some some of the bosses look pretty amazing later on. Also, I will admit, definitely more polished up than the DOS version, which went for more flat colors like the NES version. Yep. Yeah, something that you might notice, uh, I think it should show up on stream, is that I put the input viewer up. And uh, you might notice that there's a bit of a delay between the moment I press the button and the moment when uh, my attack actually hits. And also, something that's really bad about this version of the game is what I'm about to do. So to use the, the sub-weapon, you have to hold the attack button, because up is the button to jump, obviously, since this is an Amiga game. Oh my god, what? And that's the reason it's the worst version of uh, Castlevania. That's, that's not that bad. The DOS version, he has Enter key for jump. It's true, it's true, but uh, at least it's separate. <laughs> yeah, and then you use the up plus weapon to use the sub weapon in DOS one. Yeah. Oh god. But this, oh man. Yeah. You but in its own way. Know. If I if I could uh, get a quick comment in there, I guess this game officially does predate um, Super Smash Brothers after all. Yes. Uh, okay, so something that you might have noticed and that I will do again multiple times is uh, using the save feature because this game has a save feature. I think all the DOS version of the game. Yes, yeah, DOS version. Yes, yes. They save as well. So that's something that we're going to abuse because uh, I really want to keep the cross <laughs> throughout the run because and he's up little approaching the terrible terrible spike se spike yeah. section. I mess up. Ooh, instant kill as well. Also, yeah, this is the only version that has this deathly scream <laughs> when you die, <laughs> and it's wonderful. I love it. I also gotta say that was a very sightly hand as the menu cursor. Yeah, yeah, the, the UI overall is really fantastic. It's like uh, we were talking about it before the run and uh, the, the, the way... I'll just focus a little bit. Yeah, the way the, the score and player text to be on the top left with, with little stars is just amazing. <laughs> I just love it so much. All right, so... so yeah, coming up yeah, is the Medusa head. Uh, so I'm going to hit it, look to the right and make it spawn behind me so that I can just run towards the exit uh, without uh, having to deal with them. Fingers crossed. Okay. 
Oh my lord, that Medusa head. <laughs> God. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's tiny. Yeah. The worst part is it's pretty small. <laughs> it's like a puppet. Yeah, trying to hit it with the whip is really a nightmare, so that's really the reason why we need the cross at all costs. It's like in other version of Castlevania uh, 1, uh, the, the body water is usually the, the best weapon, but uh, in this version, I'll just restart because I mess up the star. In this version, the, the holy water is really pathetic. <laughs> it's really Actually, it's like it mo in, in most of the Dosylvania ports, the holy water is terrible. In the DOS DOS version, it just farts twice on the floor and that's it. Those yeah, almost no, no damage. Frames. No, like, no known critical hit tricks with the holy water as far as... Yeah, that, as... That's, that doesn't exist. Crit critical, I think, doesn't exist in any of those versions too. Yeah. Also, yeah, the, the birds here are yellow for some reason. Oh, Why? Wow, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so if you, if you play Castlevania as well, you might know that uh, there are random drops and that's part of the reason that I'm making so many saves is because, uh, well, if I drop another sub-weapon and uh, work on it, uh, I can't get the cross back easily, so that's something that I want to avoid at all costs. So we are really, really uh, exploiting the save system in this one. They, does, they don't despawn over time? Uh, they despawn, but you know, from time to time there are setups where it's almost impossible to avoid them. Like, uh, oh, okay. so, like right here, there's a section coming up where usually I, I do a jump right away after throwing across. Like right, right there, and that, ooh, that could have been tricky, but we did okay. Oh, that Castlevania had a bunch of computer ports. Aside from the Dosylvania group, there was also stuff like Vampire Killer and for the MSX, as well as the, I believe it was the X68000 version, which would eventually get ported into Castlevania Chronicles for PlayStation. Yeah, the, I played a bit of the MSX version and I absolutely love it, uh, but it's a completely different game. It's like This the, is the worst room in the game. Yeah, Sorry to... yeah, I'll try to show you how you're supposed to do this casually. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> there are the mermans falling. <laughs> so everything just spawn constantly. Uh, this, yeah. In this... any other version, it's you can deal with it, no problem, but this is the only one where you kind of have to use the glitch to yeah. cross through this mess. Yeah, there's a glitch uh, to avoid uh, all the mermen, and I'll show it, show it right away. So if you stay here, no, I messed that up, so we'll take a death. This is the reason why my <laughs> estimate is 25 minutes. My PB is 11 minutes, and the estimate is double that. <laughs> Which, mind you, Neat Cell is the world record holder of this game, so... But not many people play this, unfortunately. <laughs> <Right. laughs> A little unfortunate, because I do believe the Dosylvania games deserve okay. quite a bit of love, and I'm sure anybody that wants to pick up DOS, Amiga, or even Commodore 64, I'm sure that anyone who does run it would be more than happy to help you out. I would probably say a big shout out to my good pal LLZ Cards Fan 23, who was the longtime world record holder of the DOS version. No, I messed up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this section is awful. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, the thing that I was uh, a bit worried is that uh, you make the merman respawn right at the end. And uh, it can spawn right on top of you right away. And so you need to move like a little bit on the platform, but not too much, just to make sure that the knockback uh, sends you uh, to the platform that you're standing on. It's, uh, it's a nightmare. This screen is... Uh, one of the worst thing that uh, that you have to learn for this game okay so let's try again this time i won't mess up the overall flow throwing another cross to protect myself yeah it's good we're through 
Congratulate. Yeah, this is really terrible. <laughs> like, a round of applause, really. <laughs> this is absolutely awful. And this, I definitely is, give applause, this, yeah. is, this is the easiest screen in the game. You just hold right and that's it. So. Wow, they really botched the birds. <laughs> All of the birds. <laughs> What's kind of funny is that during practice we had non spawning, and for some reason right now we we're getting loads of them. All right, we're coming up to Frank and Igor. Yeah. So Frank in this version will just spam him with uh, crosses. Uh, in this version, there's no. Uh, there's no crit, so in the NES version, if you hit an enemy the moment uh, it hits you, it get deals, uh, it, it get dealt uh, additional damage. So that's how we kill bosses super fast. But in this version, you just have to uh, deal with it. I gotta say it. Yeah, the Frank looked like he was wearing a Michael Jackson suit. Yeah, the, the castle risen in the background are fantastic. <laughs> I don't know who made that choice, but uh, it's really great. Okay. Okay. So, okay, go on. So the the heart count is really important in this. Uh, so, and since when you save, you keep the amount of health and the amount of heart that you had. Uh, if I uh, if it turns out that I collect a lot of hearts early on, uh, I'll do a save just to make sure that I don't get bad RNG afterwards. Yeah, that's one of the benefits of the save system. Just the fact that you can reload it and the RNG can be sort of manipulated that way. Ah, come on, throw it the, the right way, please. Oh, you cannot deal with him. Ah. Oh. That's a oh, It's meat. all right. Well, well, yeah, that's meat later on, so I'll just go like this. I'm playing a little bit safe. Yeah, not a bad idea. Another thing we were going to mention is that, at least from the looks of it, I think Neetzel can uh, confirm or deny, but Simon is capable of jumping on the stairs, kind of like Richter can in Rondo of Blood. Yeah, exactly. So you don't have to start climbing the stairs at the bottom. You can just jump on them, and that saves you a bit of time. The the problem is that... Like the, the, the sprite for these enemies. The, the the stairs in this version are a bit broken. Uh, it might have oh, axe for one, okay. Okay. Do, do you fall off the stairs when they hit, when you when you're on the stairs and you get hit? Uh, no, that's fine. But from time to time, just like you saw, that actually I'm going to restart. Uh, from time to time, the, the the collisions don't work, so enemies won't get hit by weapons that you use. So it's super annoying. Seriously, I, the fact that they did whatever this is to the Axe Knight sprites is mind-boggling. I mean, they probably had like a month to do it, so... <laughs> they probably did. Yes. Story, of, story of the life for many, many DOS sports, I would say. Yeah, the tight budget and yeah... And no time to get it done. Oh, yeah, it sounds Amiga. about right. The Amiga was often known for at least having stereo sound, but uh, I'm not even listening to the music right now, so I can't really tell just how well that works. Uh, it's kind of interesting. The these remixes uh, aren't bad, but uh, they're a bit slow paced. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I kind of like them, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's kind of weird when you're. They kind of fit in their own weird way, to be honest. Uh, They're cool. No, I don't want that. Some. Uh, oh no, and this is terrible because in this version, uh, enemies work the Mega Man way. So. Oh, sweet. <laughs> they, 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 like they, they respawn based on your screen position, so. And that can be a nightmare, especially in the next stage. Okay, we're going Actually, to try yeah, to... Come on. Oh, I'm messing up right now. Uh, okay, let's do this. And we're going to look to the right side. And then we're just going to damage boost through the next guy. Yeah, there can be only one Medusa head on the screen. So Nitzel abuses that. 
Yeah, and then we are going to fight death and there's a safe spot that works 90% of the time, so... Yeah, today it decided to work. Uh, we can just stay here and use the crosses. Here we go. Nice. Only one level to go. Yeah, <laughs> and it's uh, one of the worst. Okay, at least we got a big heart, so that should be easy. So here we have giant bat, just like the first boss that we have to fight. And like I said uh, earlier, it works based on the screen position. So from time to time you get knocked back, and because you get knocked back, uh, you'll have a second bat spawning right away. It's a nightmare. So without the cross, again, you just have to damage boost through this thing. Oh yeah, that reminds me. The DOS version of Dosylvania had two stage themes reversed. In other words, they were in the wrong location entirely. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the same. You, you have Wicked Child in the first level. Uh... Now this is a very important glitch that's going to be pre performed. Let's see. Yep, yeah, this is the Amiga exclusive wrong warp. Yeah. Oh and, wow, that's amazing. And just to show you how broken the stairs are, so that's just by pressing left. <laughs> <laughs> so on on a lot of stairs, from time to time, if you press uh, left or right, you will just fall through them. Uh, you, as a safety, you have to press up when on stairs, not uh, the uh, not just direction. Yeah, not just uh, horizontal direction. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, coming up is uh, Dracula, and I don't have that many hearts, so that might take a while. Especially if he's a better form. Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> it, uh... it, it, it's a treat. So yeah, his fireballs are kind of glitch. Also, his collisions are awful. So between how jerky Dracula is in this version as compared to um, how nice he can be, would you rate this from a Count Chocula to a Count Jerkula? Uh, he's a jerk. He's a complete jerk uh, because uh, he can spawn right on top of you and from time to time the game just decides that you get hit instantly. You can't dodge him at home. <laughs> Look and, at this beauty. And this is the cookie oh, monster. That is... That is a far cry from a cookie monster. What did they do to you? What in the name of Mother Nature Unholy is that? And yeah, its collision is really, really bad. So if you're low health, you're kind of expected to get hit by this. It's silly in the first place. And but... here we go. <laughs> time. Wonderful. Yeah, pretty good time overall. I love uh, oh, during the fight with the Cookie Monster, the music just stops. It's like the the game doesn't want to to deal with this. <laughs> it's this <so> orchestra <laughs> leaves. Oh, they were not paid enough to. I can't even do it. And Yay. so here we go, we got rid of Castlevania and the devs knew that their game wa wasn't great because we have a all of blame and we got a really, really high score today. So, oh, oh wow. GG. Wow. <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess we'll blame Fizu uh, as usual. And here we yeah, go. Blame Fizu, please. So, here you go, you're at the top of the Hall of Blame, Faizu. This is not really expected because usually I don't get on the ice core anymore. By so. the power of Druids, he <laughs> ascended. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I really love this. So, yeah, thank you both for joining me for for the run. Uh, a big thank you to BBG for picking up uh, the, the different run that I had today. A uh, big shout out to 
to the Castlevania community. Uh, Castlevania was the first game that I picked up as a speed run, uh, at least the NES version, not this one. And uh, yeah, it's been a blast discovering speed running through that community and now through uh, uh, the Big Bad Game at Phone uh, community. This marathon is really my favorite. So see you, see you soon, see you next year, and uh, enjoy the end of the marathon. See ya. Back Take care. Bye, Bye everyone. Back to the host.